Okay, there's a new league. Let's plan out a route list. First, we're gonna start in Hayward Hamlet. Then we're gonna move to Lex Proxima. What do you mean Lex Proxima is gone? No! Hi, Scissorin here, and I wanted to make a video talking about the map changes, talking a little bit about the new regions, just where good maps are, what we're losing, and things like that. So this video is not going to go over specifically like sustain and stuff, and I've covered Atlas passives in another video for every region. Uh, I do want to talk specifically about divination cards and things that drop and stuff like that from every region. So let's look through some of the most important divination cards and stuff. And we're losing a lot of maps with good divination cards. Like for example, we are losing Burial Chamber. However, Spider Forest still exists, so you can still farm the Doctor. And obviously a lot of people like farming power for the nurse. An important one is the Dapper Prodigy is now in the Palace map. The Chains That Bind is now in the Dungeon map. Uh, they're some of the most important ones. Obviously, Fiend is poor. Several good things are in Poor Joyce Asylum now. Honestly, Poor Joyce is a pretty good map. That's the main ones that were like moved. So in these patch notes, they're finally telling us exactly where things drop. Um, sometimes the wiki and PWDB has had like conflicting information. The wiki is just very rarely updated. So a lot of people have been confused where things drop. So now like Crystal Belt and Hayward Hamlet, for example. Convoking Wand and Valdos Rest. And more importantly, Vermilion Ring and Glenna Cairns. Now, do remember that rings now drop in tier 11 maps or higher instead of tier 6. So that's a very, very important change. So this is the new Atlas and what it looks like. And obviously, we don't specifically know what each tier is. And honestly, for most people, completing everything is fine. So there are still things where Atlas manipulation is really good. For example, with Terrace, right? Terrace drops the, the 6th thing short bow item level 50. This is really good for farming a 6th thing bow early. This doesn't matter for most people. It's just worth mentioning that you can not complete other things uh, off the same tier. The benefit of having Terrace as the only tier 8 would be that you would not be like, if you are doing tier 10s and stuff and you drop a tier 8, it would only be Terrace if they're not connected to another same tier map. A little bit complicated, but there are things like that that you can do to just get more when you are hunting a specific divination card because you don't get the um, favorite map system early enough comes in a little bit late and uh, the favorite map system is only 10 20 or 30 times more likely if you're doing it like this you're guaranteeing that the map is the only one that drops we are left with quite a decent amount of good maps but i would say there are more bad maps on the atlas now um we can we can choose and, and tell you guys about a little like you know pick out like the best maps from each region so like alleyway is really really nice uh acid cavern doesn't have the worst layout it does sort of like split which is kind of annoying but uh, outside of the split is a decent amount of density, but really bad bosses. Mace is awful. Primordial Blocks is awful. Spider Forest is okay and good div cards. Waste Pool is pretty great. Anyway, we'll focus on the good ones. Atoll is great. Anuran River is great. Digs pretty okay. Canyon's great. Uh, Desert, really, really good map. Dune's really good. Lighthouse, amazing. And also has like special boss that drops the uh, Red Blade Banner Shield. Sulfur Vents is great. Lava Lake. Aside from the boss, really good. Next up, Clinic Cairns, Arcade, really good. Uh, Fields, really nice. Park, amazing. Relic Chamber is pretty okay. Uh, it's not the best. Boundary, surprisingly good layout, but the boss is insane. Um, Siege, really good. Palace, really, really good now. It's not the best layout. It's probably better than Residence, but it drops the Dapper Prodigy card now. So insanely good. You definitely want that. Plateau, really, really good. Port, awesome, but the boss is awful uh tropical island amazing one of the best maps and then waterways really really good and hunted mansion really good as well so that's all the ones for glenic cairns next up we have lyra arthane toxic sewer absolutely amazing um defile cathedral really really good shore amazing dark forest honestly i really like it the boss is a bit of a pain sometimes we can skip that fungal hollow wasteland mud geyser and race course all really good race course is a little bit of low density however Grotto, pretty decent. Some like side corners that are a bit annoying. Forbidden Woods, pretty okay layout. Not a not a huge fan, but it works. Underground Sea, really, really amazing. Glacier, amazing. Bog, really good. Uh, and that's the main ones there. So you see, probably I'd say like 40% of the maps are really good. I wish there was a bigger reward for the maps that weren't as good. Like there was a, like cells. 
Cells is a pretty bad layout, but you are very rewarded. There's good div cards and amazing amount of monsters. In uh, the next region, Valdos Rest, Iron Lake is amazing. Estuary, Tower, again, skip the boss, it's very rippy. Strand, really, really good. Caldera is pretty decent. Dry Sea, really, really good. Ghetto, not too bad. Boss is kind of rippy and the area is kind of open. Um, Lair, pretty good, good div cards and um, not a bad layout. Boss is a bit funky. Lee line, pretty okay. Promenade, really good. Cemetery, really good. Boss can be a little bit scary. Wharf, amazing. A trick for Wharf is once the boss, it's the golem that spawns like a shield. If you go look at the boss, then run one and a half screens away and run back, he's lost his shield. You don't have to deal with that damage reduction shield. That's pretty much it for Valdo's Rest, to be honest. So I just wanted to quickly mention like what maps are good for these regions. I do have a separate Atlas passives talking about that. And I'm going to make a map sustain video talking about how to use sextants, scarabs, and how to sustain maps. So I hope this helps you. Good luck in the upcoming Scourge expansion. Sub if you like the videos and they help you. And uh, thank you guys so much for the content. And try to die less than I do.